First, let's talk about what are some typical symptoms that patients with dysautonomias um, or autonomic dysfunction have. Um, the autonomic nervous system regulates a very large portion of the body's function, so there is a wide a array of symptomatology that patients can present with. Um, some patients can present with all of these symptoms. Some patients may only have a few. So um, some of the typical symptoms that we see with patients that have autonomic dysfunction or autonomic dysfunction disorders are heart rate irregularities. Patients can have tachycardia or an increased heart rate. Um, they can also have bradycardia, which is a slowing of the heart rate. Uh, we see patients that have blood pressure irregularities. So this means patients can have high blood pressure, they can have low blood pressure, and they can also have blood pressure swings, where even from you know, morning to evening, their blood pressure may change or from one day to the next or one week to the next, they might see these swings in blood pressure. Um, clinically, we've seen this more commonly in post-COVID cases. Um, other symptoms that patients present with, fatigue and weakness, pain, uh, fainting or syncopal episodes, pre-syncope or that feeling where you know, you stand up too quickly and everything kind of starts to go tunnel vision, things go a little bit black. Um, most of the time you have, that's your warning sign to kind of get down um, and adjust yourself so that you don't end up having a syncope episode. That's really common. Um, digestive issues, abnormal sweating, Patients can have increased sweating where they feel like they're sweating all the time. And patients can also have um, scenarios where they don't sweat anymore at all. Um, patients can present with dizziness and balance issues, breathlessness or shortness of breath, um, visual disturbances. And this can be a whole array of different types of visual disturbances like visual snow or blurry vision or double vision, um, depending on the patient. Um, blood pooling, exercise intolerance, and uh, many more symptoms are also involved depending on the patient. 